Hi everybody, welcome back to tonight's episode of VBOA Knox Unmasked, a quick little show where we get to know a little bit more about some of our members here at Knox and maybe have a little bit of fun and maybe cause a little bit of trouble along the way. Uh, the rules are straightforward. We have our two contestants here uh, who each have a photo of themselves and a photo of their opponent. Uh, they'll be read a question and they need to hold up the picture of whoever the question most relates to. Yeah, yeah, yeah understanding me so far. Yes. Yeah, we're there. Okay. Good, that's a good start. All right, so let's go on with it. Let's meet tonight's contestants. Uh, there's Batman and Robin, there's Adam Sheehy and his beard, me and a coffee. But best friends and dynamic duos only get as good as these two here. We have Aaron Danapala, he's a 1B referee here at Knox, the better official of his family and a well known hater of garlic bread, even though he does have a garlic bread woody. Doesn't make sense to me either, but whatever floats your boat, mate. <laughs> And we have Jess Richardson, 1A referee, and the best referee we have at Fox named Jess Richardson. She loves <laughs> cat, struggles to remain silent for less than 15 seconds at a time, and often astounds us with just how intelligent a conversation she can hold. So this will be a lot of fun. So please welcome Aaron and Jess. All righty, guys. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. Do you promise to still be friends at the end of this? Maybe. Maybe yeah. that's what I want to hear. Yes, no guarantees here. Fantastic. All right, let's go. We'll start off gently. Question one Who's missing basketball the most? Yes, all right, we got them going for each other. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Jess, did you cut Brendan out of that photo? Yes, <laughs> hello, Brendan. Uh, bad luck. <laughs> all right, question two. Who would go insane first if the internet went down for a day? How is that me? Because. I have a better reason than that. Yes. Come on, Jessica. Oh, all right. Question three. Who is most likely to trip over their own feet on court? Without hesitation. I did I did <laughs> oh my at refing and then I couldn't play my game later. So. Was I supervising that night? No, it was with um Ashton Bradford. We were at um community centre. Oh yeah. well, that would have hurt too. Yeah, well yeah. <laughs> if there's a floor to fall over on, it's not that one. <laughs> yeah. All right, question four. Who is most likely to become TikTok famous? Mm. <laughs> She's getting there. She's getting there. She's trying. I getting there. I thought so, you were famous already, Jess. No. Oh. Should be. Should be, but not. There you go. Gonna plug your TikTok while we're here. Yep. Um, at Jessica dot Richo. Everyone, give me some followers, oh, yeah. likes. All right, while we're at it, um, mine's Aaron.Dunapala. Have fun spelling that, but that's it. Doesn't get used anyway. <laughs> we may add subtitles to this later, but that's yeah. up to date. That's okay. All right, question five. Who's the better referee? <gasps> okay, true. Uh, I thought, I thought, yeah. I thought, <laughs> it's fine. Not very modest of you, Jess. Mm. Well, you, there was not a moment's thought there. That was just me, 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 me. I'm logical. I speak facts. Do you though? Know? <laughs> in my opinion. Oh, in your opinion. Okay. Well, we can't argue with an opinion now, can we? No. No. All right. Next question. Who's most likely to crack the sads whilst playing? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I have seen this happen, but it's quite it a all gets sad when he like misses heaps, which is like a lot of the time. Yeah. Oh, I would have thought you, you you might have had some practice at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah you think, but no. <laughs> or is it just the pressure of mix four getting to you? Yeah, mix four, really, yeah. <laughs> Pretty great domestic, one of the two. Yeah, well, we can't all be great players. Well, <laughs> none of us can be, really, I suppose. <laughs> All right, next question. Who is most likely to double slash triple slash quad text just to get attention? <laughs> no, I say us both. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We've both done. 
Yeah. Uh, well, well if, if you can't split yourselves, there's not much I can do with that. <laughs> uh, question eight. Who is most likely to point the wrong way on an out-of-bounds call? <laughs> yeah. Do you get the colour right and just point the wrong way? Sometimes I forget to point. Like, I'll just go out of bounds and they look at me like, oh, oh I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> Next question. Question. Question <laughs> All right, next question. Who is most likely to binge watch an entire Netflix series in a weekend? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'm on too busy on FaceTime. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Miss Popular. <laughs> I got better than this. That's a bit rough. Um, what, what are you watching at the moment? Or what is the go-to? Oh, I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> what do you make, Jessica? <laughs> not watching anything. <laughs> um, I've heard of that. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. I really like it. Yep, good. Yeah. So we have a, a uh, an official recommendation there. Uh, all right, question 10. Who is most likely to forget to bring their whistle to reference? Ooh. Very quick to dot each other in. in. I've no, done it so no. many times. I've only done it twice. So maybe yeah, not many. many, probably like three times. <laughs> Have you not learned a lesson yet? The spare whistle is an important part of it. <laughs> no, do you, do you remember that Thursday night where I left my whistle at state and then I called you and I'm like, is it still there? And then we just never found it? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I think you assumed I lived there because it was about an hour after we'd all gone home. You're like, oh, it's my whistle. Yeah. Right. Well, hang on, I'll just have a look at my crystal ball and, and see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. The people I had to work with on a Thursday night, honestly. Sorry. Uh, so, next one. Who is most likely to go out and forget to take a mask with them? And have you done it? Yeah. Wow. Tie your whistle to your mask. I just need just like constant up there. I need a one of them things. A brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. No comment, your worship. No comment. <laughs> All right. Next question. And there is only one answer to this. Oh. Who is most likely to dislike tasty foods just to have an unpopular opinion? Yes, you, you garlic bread eating monster. It's just, it's, just, it's like a piece of bread and like a little bit of garlic on it, and everyone just raves about it. I don't, I don't see that. I don't like watermelon either. I don't like watermelon. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, you've lost me with the garlic bread thing. So bread and garlic. Like these, these are two fun things of the universe. Love bread, love garlic, but they don't need to put together. Like bread by itself, yep. Oh, actually, no, garlic is kind of by itself. Never mind. Do you Who, is who is it? Who is he? I can I can deal with watermelon, but I, I can't let the garlic bread thing go. No, but like name a person that doesn't like watermelon. You can't. Me. Oh, yeah. But still, oh. oh my god, she's back. Oh, hello, kitty. Um, what is your cat's name, please? Um, her name's Mimi. Mimi. Yeah, I named it when I was like grade three. <laughs> Don't judge. You put her after yourself. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just wondered. All right, we, we shall move on. Right. Uh, where are we? Here we go. Who is most likely to reset the scoreboard at half time in a game thinking that it is full time? You didn't even know the question. I just heard restart and I'm like, yep. <laughs> How many times have you done it? Oh, there's a dog here as well now. Oh, Doggo. And what is Doggo's name, please? Buddy. Buddy. So you named him after me. <laughs> Old mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with old mate. Uh, okay, 
Next question. We've got two to go. And then where are you? Uh, who is most likely to still be talking even after the person they were talking to has walked away? Wait, hang on. Wait, can you repeat the question? Sorry. No, that's okay. Who is most likely to still be talking even after the person they were talking to has walked away? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's me. That's, yeah. that's you. Now, Jess was real quick to get that up. Is this something that you've done before? Is there is there a story behind this? Are we talking about like on court or just in general life? Just life in general. Like um, if it's a basketball court or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, both. Sometimes I'm talking to someone and they've left and I haven't realised and then I just keep talking. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh sorry. sorry, you're still on my head. My bad, sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right, number 15, lucky last. Who is most likely to do something weird in public? <laughs> Again, no hesitation. If you yeah. saw so today on FaceTime. I, I'm just a very Odd. don't give a shit person. <laughs> I've, I've noticed that, particularly when it comes to your F <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> Mum, come pick me up. I did warn you that I was getting warmed up for this, so. <laughs> I'm used to it. It's fine. Uh, that's all right. Well, guys, that is your 15 questions. You didn't quite butt heads as much as I would have liked, but that's okay. So the dynamic duo is still safe. I mean, still uh, you can live to fight another day, um, <laughs> unless you wave some garlic bread around. In which case, then someone might just run away. But that's <laughs> um, so that's what we've got time for. Thank you, Jess and, and Aaron, for your time. Really appreciate it. Um, before we, we wrap this up, um, is there anything that, that either of you would like to, to say to our members that are watching this at home? Um, yes. Next question. The most annoying person. Go. Oh, Jesus. Just attack me. All right. Nah, we miss you all, and um, we're very excited to see you guys again, as whenever that may be, because we all we all just love, love it, love life. Be safe, yep. be happy. Talk to me if you're bored, because I'll talk to you back. Yeah, miss everyone. Can't wait for it to come, get back. Um, when it does get back, whoever gets rusted with this, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Oh, such a good time. La -da -da. Well, guys, thank you very much for your for your time tonight. Um, stay safe, look after yourselves, and we will see you out on court soon, hopefully. Yeah, no so, doubt. Thank, thank you. Thank you to you for watching, for making this as great as it is, and um, we will see you next time. Thank, thank you. you. See you back. Bye. Bye.